here, co-creator of nextlevelguitar.com. Hope all is going well, and I hope your guitar and musical journeys are going famously. And today I have a really cool little trick to show you to how you can throw some spice into your solos, like where it's going to sound like you're playing a lot faster than you really are. It's going to kind of look sound cool and it's going to kind of look kind of cool because you're going to be sliding around on the neck and it's a really easy thing to do and once you get the hang of it it'll work with any scale it's just a cool little device that you could throw into your soloing and improvisation you know and maybe put your own little twist on it and have some fun with it i'm going to give you a few examples i'm going to do it slow and i'm going to do it faster i'm going to show you in a couple different keys and this way it'll really tie together how easy you can incorporate this into your guitar playing it entails taking a scale and sliding up and out of each note as you move up the scale. And it's great to kind of build tension um, in a solo, or maybe the, the part of the solo is kind of building to the next part, and it's a great way to kind of, you know, move that energy. Take a look at this, it's in the key of D minor, and then I'll explain what I'm doing. I was basically doing this. Okay, so I'm doing it slow. In the next example, I'm going to do it fast. You'll hear the difference. But all I'm doing is I'm taking the notes in a D minor scale, and at first I'm playing them on one string, and then I'm going to the next string. But what I'm doing is is I'm sliding into the note and then sliding out of it. And by the way, I have the delay turned off on the guitar for instructional purposes. So I started that off on the uh, sixth fret of the B string, that F note. So again, this will work with any scale. So what you want to do is slide into the note from above. You can even give it a little vibrato. And then slide out of it and then slide out of the next note. So we're taking these notes, and you'll see the tabs on the screen, right up the D minor scale, F, G, A, B flat, C, D, E, F, G, A, right? And if you play them like that, it kind of sounds like a scale. But if you do them where you're sliding in and out and in and out, you get all those in-between notes in the slur, and it sounds a lot different. I'll do it slow. All right, and you heard on each one I'm doing a heavy dose of vibrato. Slide in, slide out, and I pick it from the top, like as I'm sliding in, pick, slide, slide out, pick, slide, slide out, pick, slide, slide out. You could skip over notes, you could hold notes longer than other ones, like... If maybe you don't know these scales that I'm talking about, or you're not as familiar with them, no worries at all, I can help you with that. Click on that link in the YouTube description box below, and I'll send you a free video lesson and an ebook. And in an ebook, I diagram out like 29 different scales, including the ones I'm talking about here. It's nice to see them on paper, right? Because this way you got the video lesson and you can look and see them visually on paper, have it in front of you. It's a nice thing. That ebook also contains, besides tons of scale lesson diagrams, lots of lessons on minor key soloing, major key soloing, soloing strategies. There's lots of lessons in there that'll help you throughout your guitar journey. And you get the free video lesson. I'll send it to you. Just click on that link below. There's so many different things you could do with the device once you get the hang of that, right? So let's try it in another key. Uh, listen to this example. I do it faster, and this is in the key of A minor. Check this out. So in that example, 
I'm doing the same device, different, I'm using the A natural minor scale, and I'm doing it faster as the solo kind of builds, right? So there, what I'm doing is I'm starting on the A note, 10th fret on the B string, and I'm going right up the A natural minor scale. A, B, C, D, E, right? F, G, A. I end on the A on that 15th, uh, 17th fret high E string. So if I do it slow, same exact thing where I'm picking, sliding in, sliding out, right? Uh, and if you speed it up, right? So it's just a matter of knowing where those notes are and then getting to them and sliding out of them quickly. Now, I'm jumping strings on this, uh, on those both examples going from the B to the high E. You could start on just one string and slide all the way up. And that's like I talk about in other lessons where you wanna kind of know the notes of a scale on each string going across the neck horizontally, as well as knowing the notes in scale form vertically, of course, but knowing those notes is really important because then you can grab them in a device like this really simple. Thank you so much for your support over the years. Remember, please subscribe to the channel. That really helps us to keep bringing the content. Like the video. If you like it, click the like button, give it a thumbs up, share it, and leave a comment in the YouTube comment box below. Remember also click on that link and get your free video lesson and ebook where I have a lot of these scales that I talked about diagrammed out. It's a great reference ebook by the way i send with that video lesson for free you'll use it throughout your guitar journey enjoy keep putting those guitars in your hands every day and remember your playing is an evolution take care and rock on.